Yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video introduction right here. I just received this album. If you know, um, in my last videos, when I review earbuds, um, there's a track that I always use to test my earbuds with and my speakers now with. And this is it right here. I just received this CD a couple days ago. It's the group that, you know, I talk about them on my um, earbuds review, uh, Men I Trust. And I finally got the CD. And I mentioned this in my video that I was going to, you know, purchase the album, you know, really soon. So I finally got it. And let me tell you, you know, there's very few times that I would recommend an album or a CD. Because, you know, I do music myself, but I, I rarely recommend albums or CDs. But I have to tell you, um, you know, there's only, I think, two, there's only two times when I recommended an album or a CD. And this is my second time. And let me tell you, this is probably one of the best, um, I don't know, um, probably some of the best music I have ever heard from a group. And this is actually a band. The name of the band is called Men I Trust. And this is a very unique band. And what makes them unique is the fact that, um, their style of music they don't have really a style of music when you listen to their music and you have to listen to a variety of you know albums that they have they do all styles of music everything from pop to um classic pop style of music from pop to electronic music to alternative music i, I can't really say they have a style because they do so many different genres of music and um you know, if you listen to the album, this is this album right here is called um, Headroom. And I would definitely recommend getting this album. You know, the first track that is on this album, Headroom, is probably one of the best tracks that I have heard. I, I mean, by the group, the quality is amazing. The song is just great. It's a great song for introduction. Great song to even test your speakers with. And I believe the first track on this um, CD is called Morse Code. And it sounds nothing like its name, Morse Code. It, it's like a very um, jazzy, jazzy track. Jazzy R&B track. It's like jazz and R&B mixed together. And it sounds amazing. Not only that, but the quality is amazing. I actually um, set my speakers up incorrectly. I didn't have any room, so I set one of my speakers on the floor, and I set another one on top of my desk, and I played this track again just to, you know, listen to it, and it sounded amazing, even with my speakers not being uh, placed properly, it sounded amazing. I mean, the first track has a huge sound stage. You can actually hear the instruments in the middle of the listening area, and not from the speakers, so that's a good sign, you know, that's a good sign of a good, um good audio track and it's also a sign of good speakers but this track is so well done you can actually hear the instruments right in the center you have to you know you can't even tell that the sound is really coming from our speakers because i had them placed incorrectly i had one sitting on the floor and i had one sitting behind a tv screen so it wasn't even in the open and i still could hear the sound stage in the middle of my room you know so Again, you know, if you are an audiophile, you know what exactly that means. That's a good sounding track. Anyway, you know, I, this CD, would I, I think it would even qualify as being an audiophile CD. I mean, I, I cannot recommend this enough. This is a great album. And I love all the songs on it. But what's really unique about this album and the group is that um, the last few, the first five songs or the first six songs, they start off really good. They sound like pop jazz r&b right but the last three songs they switch it does like a 360 and it, there's no vocals there's nothing but like music you know not really music but i would say melodies some of the tracks on here the last tracks are just melody tracks and some of them don't even have a beat and it's just like a melody it's like they were working on a track and they just decided just to do a melody track without a beat and I'm telling you, um, their style of music is so unique. And the only thing bad I would have to say about this CD is that um, the songs are too short. I mean, this this um, CD has only 10 songs. And the whole CD is 30 minutes long. Only 30 minutes. And each track or each song is only 3 minutes long or less. There's actually one track on here that is um, just 1 minute and 50 seconds. That's the only complaint I have is that there. The album is just too short, you know, only 30 minutes. But most of the songs on here are 
great. And like I say, I wouldn't recommend, you know, music, but I have to really mention this group or this band because um, it's amazing it sound. I mean, this is a great sounding album, you know, and this is very rare music, too. I mean, this group is from Canada and you can't really, you know, you can't buy any music in a store. You can only find it online. And it's very rare even to find their music, you know, being sold online because there's not many people selling their music because the quality you know, other music is just amazing. I, I mean, they they do a lot of music that sounds old school, but it's modern. But it it just has an old school feeling to it, and it's great. You know, and like I said, this is very a usual group. I don't want to say they're a strange group, but if you listen to this album, it flips three sixty. You know, it goes from doing R B jazz to something I can't even explain. Like I say, um, it's I. One of the tracks is electronic, of course. It it would sound perfect for a movie like Tron. If you ever watched Tron Legacy, uh, one of the tracks sound just like it, it would fit in with the movie Tron. It's an electronic track then, but the last track on this album, it sounds weird. You know, it's like it, it makes you feel like um, it sounds like they are actually in a church and a humming. You know, and it sounds like. You know, like I'm, I'm just not saying this, but just like uh, if he was a monk in a church, you know, humming to a tone. This this is what the last track sound like. It it really doesn't really make any sense to be put on this album because when you listen to the first five or six songs, you know, it sounds like jazz R&B tracks and there's vocals to those first five or six tracks. But when it gets to the last three tracks, there are no vocals, you know. And it's not really music. I don't even know how to explain it, but it sounds, you know, unique, you know. It's not even music, but it still sounds, you know, pretty good and it sounds different. So they have a, their own style, you know. They have their own style of music. And um, like I say, I don't recommend many CDs, but I would definitely recommend this one. And if you want to get really a variety of the music, how the music sound, I would definitely um, get their other album this album was made in 2015 a group formed in 2014 you know so um three member group it's um two guys and a female and the group is called or the band their band the band is called man i trust and the album is called headroom and if you want to get the other album which is called um uncle jazz yeah i think it's uncle jazz they have a variety of uh, music. I listed a whole album and there is a variety of songs that sound amazing. A lot of them sound old school, but they're not. And have a variety of different styles of music. You know, like I say, if you're into old school, you're into jazz, you're into R&B, you need to get that album. And with this too, you know, and like I say, I cannot classify this as either a jazz or R&B album. Because when you listen to their music, they have so many different styles of music on just one CD, you know. This CD is about three different styles of music and it's a style of music. I can't even explain what it is. You just have to listen to it. You know, it's like, OK, this is not jazz. This is not electronic music. This is not R&B. This is not pop. This is something totally different. I, I don't even know what to call it. So, yeah, they're a very unique group, a uh, unique band. So I would definitely recommend it. The quality of the album is great. Like I say, it's audiophile quality. Everything is very clear, very crisp, good bass response. It just sounds amazing. And again, it's just too short. You know, it's only 30 minutes long and it's worth, you know, the price, even though I think I paid like $15 for this. Um, it's worth buying their music. I'm telling you, that's what the inside of the camera looks like. Very different, you know? Yeah. But let me tell you this group right here, uh, amazing band. Their music is amazing. I mean, I think whatever style of music you like, they actually have it. It may not be in this album, but if you get, like I say, if you get their Uncle Jazz album, there are so many different styles of music in that album. I'm sure you will find one that you like. So, but this is Headroom, and this is the album that I wanted to get Headroom because the first track is the best track on the CD, in my opinion. And then the um, second track and the fourth track are the second best, you know, those tracks. One of them is called Again, and the other track is called Break for Lovers. 
And the first track is called um, Morris Code, and I think that's just the best sounded track on the whole CD. It's the quality is good, the music is good, everything about it is good. You know, the sound stage, it's just a great sounding track. Sounds like a jazz R&B track, very nice sounding track. So yeah, I just had to make this video of this album because it's just, you know, I don't recommend music much, but this is definitely something that you should take a look at. You should listen to, you know, if you could find a CD, I would definitely buy it because this music is very rare. It's not many people selling, you know, their albums and stuff and they have them in, in albums and LPs and they have them in CDs. So um, they have them in vinyl, you know, LPs. So um, definitely if you get it, if you could get either one you know get it you know if you get the cd get the cd if you get the vinyl get the vinyl because like i say their music is very rare and it's very good quality i mean you cannot even put a style on the type of music they do because they do such a variety and so many genres of music you, you can't even describe them as you know the type of music they do because it's very unique it's like music i have never heard before and it just sounds amazing again so that's about it so yeah um i was going to do a quick you know just a quick introduction to this album but i, I basically did a full review of it it's 10 tracks and, and like the tracks are just very short that's the only thing i don't like about the album and again the last few tracks really don't fit in with the album i don't know uh how they got the idea to put them in there uh like i say i don't even know what would you what you would call the tracks the last tracks on these on this on this album because it sounds very um different you know i don't even have a group to put it in but yeah they make you know some of the great some of the best music i've ever heard and they are a group from canada named men i trust two guys and a girl and that's about it i, I guess i would make another video explaining more about the group more about the group but yeah that's about it if you could get this cd hat room get it it's definitely worth buying even though the tracks are short just, you know, listen to the first track. It's worth buying um, the CD. So that's about it. Thank you very much. Goodbye.